What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now I know there are a ton of you here at the channel like me who are hoping in the last three weeks plus until Deadpool and Wolverine drops that Marvel Studios doesn't ruin all of the awesome surprises and new TV spots every day in a week leading up to when the movie drops. But that doesn't mean that they aren't gonna do a ton of promo between now and then, which includes airing the first 30 to 40 minutes of Deadpool and Wolverine in Shanghai last night. And apparently now we are getting a ton of reaction and details coming out from said screening. I'm of course gonna issue a spoiler warning, but I will also say before we dive into the description and reaction to this first 30 or 40 minutes of the film, that I was more relieved when reading this than anything else. It didn't really spoil much for me, and there's one small detail in here I'm gonna harp on that's extremely exciting for Deadpool and Wolverine. We're breaking it all down, the first test screening for the first 30 or 40 minutes of the film, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner for the release of Deadpool and Wolverine. Again, all you gotta do, be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so as is customary at the channel, a full on spoiler warning when we cover content like this. They've already aired the first 12 minutes of Deadpool and Wolverine to a closed CinemaCon crowd a month ago. Now they're airing the first 30 to 40 minutes or what I'm guessing is the first act of the film internationally. They've already done so in Shanghai last night. I'm guessing they're going to show this footage internationally again as well. They do this for films. They did it for Avengers Endgame, which I couldn't believe. It's just part of Marvel and Disney's MO. That being said, there are specific scene details in here amongst the reaction quotes to what happened in the movie. So if that in any way is going to ruin your Deadpool and Wolverine experience, only you know if you're susceptible to that kind of thing. I ain't mad at you. Get out of here. Come back and see us after the movie drops. We'll still be here. Otherwise, let's dive right in to this mixed reaction and description to the first 30 or 40 minutes of Deadpool and Wolverine. The first quote was, overall very funny and violent, great action sequences, great score, and some very emotional scenes, which is about the most nondescript description I've ever heard of a first act of a movie. The next one says it has a very violent connection with the end of the Logan film, which is hilarious because we knew exactly what Ryan Reynolds meant when he said they weren't going to touch the end of Logan. They were definitely going to touch the end of Logan. That's the most Deadpool thing to do. We've already sort of discerned that from the very first trailer and figured out that that scene that we see him in in the snow is most likely also the end of Logan. Apparently, it's going to be very violent. I think that's when we see him tearing up the TVA agents as well. The next quote says that many variants of Logan appear in the film, including a zombie version, which is no surprise. And if you been paying attention to all the official promo, we know that there's going to be four or five members of a Deadpool core, which includes Headpool, and probably the same place they pick up Headpool from is going to be wherever the zombie version of Wolverine is. In the comics and publishing, almost every Marvel hero has been a zombie at some point. We've seen it in What If. It's going to happen again in the upcoming Marvel Zombies, and of course, it all could lead to Avengers Secret Wars, where Black Panther leads an army of Marvel Zombies, but we'll have to wait and see if they want to draw from that 2015 Jonathan Hickman run with all of these Marvel Zombie homages happening in multiple projects. The next one says, and not surprisingly, that there are many many jokes about Fox and Disney, which if you just extrapolate the trailer footage we already have, the per capita joke about Disney and Kevin Feige is through the roof. You had to imagine this was just going to keep going through the film as they riff on that. And keep in mind, the whole film itself, Deadpool and Wolverine, might be sort of a meta commentary on the fact that one bought the other. And while universes are dying inside the Marvel Cinematic Universe, outside of it, they're dying as well. The next one says many cameos, which has pretty much already been confirmed by almost every source in the industry. Shoot, just the cameos we already know are more than enough. Now this is what I really liked to hear. Someone said that it seems like the scenes that we saw in the trailers are all in the first 40 minutes of the film, which is amazing. That's exactly what you want to hear. That means there is still more of this film that we have no idea about and haven't seen, and most of the stuff that we have is all coming in the same test footage that they're airing now, which might have been why they felt so comfortable doing that in the first place. They've probably already shown a majority of that with the cuts in the scenes. They feel comfortable being like, look, people aren't gonna see anything extra. Again, the details coming out here aren't breaking the movie for me or anybody else. Well, maybe this next one. Apparently, we are going to see some iteration of Wolverine vs. the Hulk. We've got a separate video coming in a full breakdown of what's going on with that as other details have come out 
coming later to the channel. We then got confirmation that Lady Deadpool does appear in the first 30 or 40 minutes of the movie, but she wore a mask, although some are saying that it sounded a lot like Blake Lively, which outside of Taylor Swift was our number one guess for who would be playing that character, as early, early on Industry Insider My Time to Shine Hello indicated that whomever was playing Lady Deadpool was quote unquote close to Ryan Reynolds. And the last quote we got was that it felt like the feeling of Avengers Endgame combined with all of the Deadpool nonsense, which if you had to guess what tone they were going for, that's exactly it. And when you have returning characters like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, and then you're pairing them with all these cameos and jumping through the multiverse and timelines, of course it's gonna have that same Avengers Endgame feel where the MCU tried to stay so grounded or as grounded as possible through like maybe the first two thirds. And then really when it all came together towards Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, it just felt like it was next level. I could definitely see that happening here, especially as they're seeing all these different variants of Wolverine and you're getting sort of the fan fiction aspect of it and then making good on cameos like we heard Henry Cavill's playing a variant of him. There's going to be a lot of stuff in this I think is real, real fan service. And again, my biggest takeaway from all of this is that they're showing this first 30 or 40 minutes because it's mostly what we've already seen in the trailers. And to hear that, to know that uh, at least two thirds of the film have not been spoiled yet by Marvel officially in any of their promos or anything is probably the most exciting part of this. And hopefully, hopefully they don't get overzealous with the TV spots like they did for the Marvels or Multiverse of Madness and reveal some of the stuff that they don't have to, because I would imagine at this point, if you haven't already gotten your tickets about a week out for this movie, they're not moving the needle much. Then it's going to be word of mouth or people going to see it a second or third time, which if you're wondering, yes, I already have three sets of tickets, including opening day and then seeing it the next two days as well over the weekend. You guys, let me know all your thoughts though down below. How hype are you for Deadpool and Wolverine? What's your favorite part in the descriptions? And quickly, let's get into this giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel. We're just going to continue to do that until the PlayStation 5 Pro or the PlayStation 6 comes out. And at this point, who knows which comes first. And when we get a little closer to Deadpool and Wolverine's release, say about two weeks out, we'll start doing more regular ticket giveaways to go see the film. Either way, for any future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced at the end segments of video like we're doing here, live with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen, and that's the only way we announce winners. So if you should ever get a spam comment on my channel, any other channel, really on any platform, please report those comments directly to the respective platform like YouTube. They are very fast about deleting them. No content creator will ever ask you for personal information on a third party app like Telegram and WhatsApp. No content creator will ever try to charge you for shipping if you should win a prize for them. They will always pay for shipping, I promise you that. So please stay safe, stay skeptical out there. And again, if you should get one of these kinds of comments, just report it directly to YouTube. They are so good about immediately deleting those comments. And then not only have you gotten that comment off of the channel that you're on, but anywhere else on the platform that they've commented, all the spam comments they've left all get deleted with the account. So really you're doing the community a huge service. And while you can let the content creator know, I promise you the content creator is also doing everything they can to try to eradicate those spam comments as well. The best way to keep up with the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on and as always if you like today's video I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button my name is Michael Roman you can find me in a couple of places Instagram and Twitter at I am fires although admittedly I'm not very active on Twitter so if you have Instagram that would be the one to follow me on it's at I am fires you can also find me under the name all fires on all platforms where you find original music so Spotify Amazon Apple iTunes wherever you listen to original music again under the name all fires and while I'd sincerely appreciate you checking my music out guys thanks for checking this channel out and supporting me here stick around We'll be posting again real, real soon.